So we are now with the next topic of our continuation part of WAND chapter. Uh, we are having the topic next as a classification of WANDs. We have understood about the primary WAND and the secondary WAND classification. And here we are with another important question that is what are the different features of human WANDs? What are the different features of human WANDs? The first feature of human WAND is WANDs are unlimited. Exactly. Very well said. We the human beings have endless wants. Whenever our one want gets satisfied, another suddenly crops up. Like in the early morning, I was having a want for a cup of tea. When that cup of tea completed, after a few hours, we had a want for the lunch, right? Or in between the breakfast. After that, we had a want for a lunch. When the lunch gets satisfied, we had a want for some evening snacks. After a few hours again, after the want have been completed, we will go for a want for a dinner or supper so human wants are unlimited it's endless in our childhood we have been wanting up a bicycle now we are wanting a bike after a few years we'll be wanting a car likewise human wants are going on and going to multiplies over the time so it's endless it never stops the human want have started from the cradle till the grave the second one is Wants are complementary in nature. There are basically two types of goods. One is known as substitute goods. Another one is known as complementary good. Two goods are known as substitute of each other when both provides us same amount of satisfaction. Like just now I'll give an example. Tea as well as coffee. When I take a cup of tea and if I take a cup of coffee, we get same satisfaction according to economics. Why? When I go to your house, you often ask me, Sir, would you like to take a cup of tea or a coffee? You say, or a cup of coffee. You don't say a tea, cup of tea and a cup of coffee. You know why? As you also know very well that we, the individual consumer, would get same amount of satisfaction by consuming either tea or coffee. We can also find out the example as slice and masa providing a same satisfaction or Coke and Pepsi gives us same satisfaction. These are all substitute goods. So sometimes, sometimes what's wants are substitutable in nature. Like when I go to a market or when I go to a shop with selling beverages, I ask for having a cup of tea. If they say that they do not have a cup of tea, I always prefer getting a cup of coffee. The wants are substitutes in nature. It is substitutable in nature. If I don't get a fulfillment of a particular want, we always search for a substitute. If we find the price of one want is higher, we want to find out its substitute to get replaced. So wants are always substitutable in nature. Similarly, there are another type of goods. The goods are known as complementary goods. We say both the goods as complementary of each other when they both are jointly demanded. When they both are jointly demanded or togetherly demanded. Like if I buy a car, I must have to buy some petrol to drive it. So demand for a car or basically want for getting a car always goes with a want for getting a petrol. Similarly, if I want a mobile, yes, this mobile, then I will always want some charger for it. If we want a bat, we must always have a want for a ball. Very similarly, we have another different type of uh, feature. The next feature is wants are competitive in nature. What is wants are competitive in nature? Now, what do you understand by the want being competitive? Suppose I went to Big Bazaar. Everything started attracting me. When I saw a, a blue blazer, it attracted me. When I saw I was going and approaching to the blazer and was about to get it, right? I suddenly found an Adidas shoe waving towards me and asking, Shayan sir, please buy me. So I was attracted to it. When I was about to get attracted to it, I saw a hood over there in the jacket, right? Over there in the jacket launch. I took a particular there. I went there and I had a try on it. That means what? Whenever I go to a big bazaar, I go to a shopping mall, I go to in a market, I find different things attracting at the same time to a consumer. So they are competitive among themselves. Every, every each commodities are attracting a consumer so badly that it seems like both the, both the, the, the three or four different types of commodities are in competition of each other. That consumer is going to buy home. 
Thus, we say wants are competitive in nature. If you, if I want to buy a blazer, I had to sacrifice another one. If I want to buy a hood, I have to sacrifice the shoes. So wants are competitive in nature. We go with another feature of human wants. That is, wants multiply over time. Exactly. Wants gets multiplied over the time. How? See, I am a very small boy, an infant. Being an infant, any individual or any infant always have what want for the Cedelex, the diapers. After they grow old, they become a child, coming to a childhood. That particular child have a want for storybooks, have want for different soft toys. When he becomes a bit older, like an, a teen, an adolescence, I find the particular teen or adolescent boy to be wanting the gadgets, the mobiles, the playstations. After a few while, that particular adolescent boy turns into a middle-aged man. And when he turns into a middle-aged man, we find, we find him wanting a car, a bike. After a few years, when he becomes old, he particular, that particular fellow wants that particular fellow wants another thing, a medicine and a walking stick. So once doesn't stop at a point. It continuously multiply over the years. It multiplies over the days, over an hour, an hour continuously. It has started from the cradle and it will end up to the grave. The next one is once record. The word record means repeat. There are few commodities once which actually repeat itself continuously. Like... In the early morning when I wake up or when we wake up, right, we take up a glass of water. After a few hours, we again get thirsty. We again go for quenching our thirst, asking for or fetching a glass of water. We tell our mom to fetch me a glass of water. After a few hours again, after our lunch get complete, we always take up water. After a few hours again, after the snacks, we take water. So it continues. So a glass of water's want, a want of getting a glass of water continuously repeat throughout our life, throughout a day, throughout every each day. So there are few commodities whose wants get repeated continuously. That is why we say wants record. The next point is a single want get satisfied at a single point of time. Of course, you are watching my video, right? That means you are wanting to know something which is unknown to you my subject. So you are sparing your time. This valuable 10 minutes in this video means you would have spent this time in scrolling your YouTube. You would have spent this time scrolling your Insta pages. You would have spent this time scrolling other movies or gossiping with the friends. You have not done. You sacrifice them to get this want. So at this particular 10 minutes of time, you are spending at this point of time, only one want is getting satisfied. A want of my service that you are getting from me is getting satisfied at a point of time. So, at a point of time, always a consumer's one want gets satisfied. The next feature is, some wants can be postponed, of course. Very true. It was COVID and I still remember I had bought a ticket for going to Sikkim. I postponed my want for going to Sikkim. Why? As they are not my urgency. After the COVID situation gets normalized, I would have again go there. So what I did, I postponed them. Why I postponed them? I postponed them as they were not my immediate emergency. So those ones which are not our immediate emergencies would have been postponed or can be postponed. The next one is, ones differ, differ to their urgency. Exactly. Suppose you have just got a fracture in your hand, right? You slip down. And you got a fracture in your hand. At that particular moment of time, going to a doctor and getting a plaster is your immediate emergency. But if you think that fine, it's all right, let's stay, have a momo and a soup together, very nice, uh, and we spend the evening without going to the doctor, do you do that? Never ever. Why? As eating momo is not your emergency during that time, your urgency is to go to get to a doctor and get your hand plastered. So that's your immediate emergency. So we cannot postpone our urgent or emergency ones. We can only postpone those ones which are unnecessary or which can, or can be postponed easily. And that is that, that not that much priority. So the things that have been so much prioritized by you and is thought to be a very urgent one can never be postponed. So the next one. Ones always remain ahead of their availability. Availability of goods and services. Suppose 
I always dream of having a want of pizzas, pizzas and pizzas. And the dream and the want what I have on pizzas is endless. I always dream of getting more and more and more pizza. But that many number of pizza are not available in the entire market. So whatever you have a want of getting, you always find the total commodities to be less than it. Thank you for today.